Well, hi there, I'm Benoit. I'm Lots. And I'm Demo Weasel. And welcome back to Turok for the Xbox 360. We'll try to hook up. We need a rendezvous point. Head through the fuel distribution area. It should lead to the hangar. Copy that. I guess it's just you and me. Alright, so now we're inside of a f facility? Yes, a very great facility. Okay. As a change of pace. I want to say that this exact architecture has been used in previous facilities that we've entered, but then again, I, I guess with a shake and bake operation like this, they would actually just have the same prefab buildings placed all over the place. You know, like Mass Effect 1. <laughs> Do you think they have vending machines in here? No, but if they did, they would probably dispense some knockoff that is obviously meant to be Coca-Cola. Like, cool, with an exclamation point at the end of it. Yeah. They would probably, like, name it after one of the tribal artifacts from the first game. As a joke. So this is another one of those sequences where the game wants me to play it stealthy. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, as soon as I get further enough forward, one of my guys decides to start shooting and pulls aggro. Actually, I'm not even sure what set that guy off. All right. Did you see me stab that guy in the throat? Yeah. I feel so powerful. It's your power fantasy. You are Turok. That fellow was murked. I think at this point the game has really just given up on the idea of it having a stealth mechanic because, yeah, even if you try to play it quiet, your buddies will just immediately start opening fire on everybody. I'm willing to say that at this point the game forgets that it's Turok in any way, shape, or form. Y you don't enjoy all the dinosaurs that we're hunting right now with these ridiculous weapons? Sure. In this lush tropic. Okay, never mind. Turok wasn't lush either. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if this was developed as, like, a completely different original product mm -hmm. by a studio with no imagination, and then the Turok license was slapped onto it at the very end. So no wonder I mean, everybody says Turok with a different voice. That's right. Turok? <laughs> sort of a uh, Starship Trooper situation. Yes, exactly. Also, Femme, I think you're right. I think this, this game, like... They uh, decided to make a first-person shooter with a built-in level creator for multiplayer, and then uh, a a after a certain point, they just decided to use that level. <laughs> <laughs> they decided to use that level creator with like its grid-based <laughs> layout and prefabs, uh, and use them to make single-player levels, yeah. and mm -hmm. then just not release the level editing component. These are dev tools now. Up there on the catwalk! Oh, Christ! That's harsh. I'm sorry. It's but just the, uh, this is the template that we'll use, and then we'll go in and then fix the level up later. Yeah. Oh. Oh, you, you already printed the discs? Oh, it's already in stores? Oh. It sold 2,000 units. Oh. oh. This didn't sell that badly, did it? No, of course not. Okay. It has a license behind it. A name that people know. It was filling a niche at the time. Mm hmm Which is... Reese, we need some help. Can't get this door Turok players who want a new game. Okay. Yes. Pre-modern warfare to military shooters. Uh, I just haven't moved on from Turok. I haven't even played Goldeneye yet. But with this, I finally have an incentive. Just a big old Turok poster in the room. Yes, that's right. Big Turok uh, cardboard cutout. Yeah. So yeah, I, I dropped the turret after filling it, and then I picked up a second minigun, and the second minigun I picked up had zero bullets. So I, I guess that like when you deploy the minigun, you are deploying its magazine as well as all of the other bullets scattered next to it. Hmm. He should really call it a two-rot. <laughs> <laughs> oh. hey, thanks, Frankie. Immediately after the initial impact wears off, I realize how painful it is. Mm-hmm. That grenade was really ineffective. I'm yeah. Not sure why. You'd, you'd think they'd try and figure out different tactics like after five guys at a time. Like mm. considering considering people just uh, end up getting killed. Like like this stairwell is some sort of meat grinder. You know, it's one of the things that I've noticed about like a lot of these uh, like B level shooters and stuff is how like 
unsatisfying well even in call of duty actually how unsatisfying the guns feel to fire yeah like if you play doom 3 still like all of those guns feel really nice to fire like they just have a good sound design to them and feel really powerful same thing with half-life 2 mm-hmm. doom 3 had that really terrible shotgun that is a great sound the single barrel shotgun in doom 3 it just wouldn't plink it was terrible you shut your mouth Service lift should be nearby. Copy that. For a moment, I thought the the uh, comm signal uh, mm-hmm. from Whiskey Company was like a clown horn. <laughs> 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 that would have made this game better. <laughs> yes. Let me just upload this to the Turok Nexus. Oh, hey, how did dinosaurs get in here? They were uh, waiting for us. It turns out they were... <laughs> it turns out that they were uh, engineered by the company in a terrifying twist. Uh-huh. That did it. The lift is heading down to you. Get on and meet us at the top. I'm grateful for any opportunity that I get to capture bad ragdolling on camera. Yeah. I keep looking back to see if they're going to keep twitching. Well, my favorite was the dude that you killed at the beginning of this video. Yeah. Who just, like, kicked his legs up in the air and threw a tantrum as he died. <laughs> I give up. Uh. This is supposed to be an easy hop. Drop down, scoop up cane. Nice and simple. No such luck. What's the purpose of the rooms in this facility? Well, this is like, an elevator. Its purpose is to ascend or descend. Well, yeah, I know, but I mean, like, <laughs> are, they, are these rooms built to store crates? Are they... Like, mm-hmm. what, where where are the crew quarters? Where's... Whoa, hey, he runs fast. Like, do, did people just live and work in this place at some point? Nothing we couldn't handle. The ship should be in here. Shepard, get this door open. I'm on it. I'll have this open in... It looks the way it does because aliens look like that. <laughs> yeah, specifically Alien 3. Thank God! You guys have better look out for me. I'm the only one who knows how to fly a ship. Let's keep moving. So now you're trying to escape without killing anybody? Oh. <laughs> I thought you were trying to kill the dude. Our objective is twofold. We have to leave and we have to kill the guy. There goes that plan. This isn't happening. Raptor! Oh, oh shit. No. How will we face this raptor? This single raptor over here? Rip the wings out of the raptor and fly into the sunset. <laughs> I actually just decided to just hang out here and see how the situation played out on its own. You made mm-hmm. the right decision. These people are very good at protecting you. Yeah. Especially this guy. The shotgun dude, like, missed twice. That wasn't a weird edit. I think what happened was one of my squad mates shot the dinosaur and it just canceled out of the quick time event. Mm. Yeah. I should look up what other contemporary shooters were released with Turok. Yeah, that's right. Uh, uh, tell us what this game's competition was, Frankie. Let's see. Well, you said Call of Duty Modern Warfare came out 2007, right? I want to say this would have been the year that Modern Warfare 1 was out. Okay, it's open. Everyone in the control room. Ah, here we go. Here's your exposition. Oh, okay. We've had some interesting developments with the bug toxin. You'll be happy to know that we've been able to modify it into a form of gas that works extremely well in open air conditions. Uh, (laughs) The perfect bioweapon is the kill all console command. Oh man, are they going to turn into dinosaurs? Gentlemen, I believe that we've discovered the perfect bioweapon. Mendel Grimmon will be paying extra when we bring this back. 
That dude's got some serious issues. This'll just take a second. I can't believe what I just saw. Let's go. Man, these guys are not hardened at all to the video footage of someone killing a bunch of people. Oh yeah. In harmless ragdolling. Like, what... What would cause everybody all at once to, from a standing position, ragdoll right like that? Uh, apparently think, like, a bioweapon. What, but, like, is it, is it like a gas that they inhale? Yeah, it was like instantaneous complete shutoff to the nervous system or whatever. But did did the entire room flood with gas all at once? I guess. It, because, like, everybody just... Uh. No, there was, a, there was clearly a wave of people. Maybe it was just a very fast breeze. <laughs> And they all just inhaled all at once. Yeah, everybody breathed in at the same time. <laughs> okay. As they were trained to do. <laughs> yes, that's right. It's nanomachines. Yeah, I definitely missed with that rocket. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, this game is pretty basic, considering all the shooters that came out in the year before it. Mm -hmm. what, what else came out alongside this game? Well, before this game came out, uh, in 2007, we have... Crisis. Okay. Mm -hmm. We have Bioshock. We have Modern Warfare 1. Didn't Crisis also have giant dinosaurs that you fought, though? I it had a frog that you launched to the moon. Okay. okay, that counts. Halo 3, Team Fortress 2, Portal. So, Turok came out alongside good games, I understand. Yeah. Half-Life 2, Episode 2. It's not really Basically, a game, shooters that did something different except for Halo 3, which kind of sucks. Yeah! <laughs> oh, yeah. I think I actually killed a dinosaur with a knife. <laughs> oh, damn. There's lava in this environment now. Mm. Well, at least an active volcano provides, like, some sort of change of palette, even if Red. the lava on the ground appears to be, like, a polygon. <laughs> yes. Yes, absolutely. Oh no, what will the herbivores do? These dinosaurs were never meant to cope with an active volcano. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> I guess he's right. Man, they, uh, they really didn't spend much time on this script, did they? I think this is the phenomenon that Blobs always points out, where they didn't really expect anybody to get this far. I guess. Yeah, I think this is around the time that companies realized that only a few, uh, like, a much smaller amount of players, like, experience the endgame content as opposed to the intro. So they uh -huh. ended up polishing their intro uh, really, like, to a mirror sheen, or as close to it as they could. Uh -huh. And then, like, everything else is just what it is. It's just there to fill playtime. Well, yeah, do you remember that, that like, back-of-box quote about Doom 3 uh, start development starting at the end of the game and working their way back towards the beginning? And they were, like, touting that, like, this was this great idea that they had when all it meant was that the game started out strong and then had a, like, mediocre, boring, generic, basic ending. Mm. Don't make me break out that song. There's a guard station up ahead. It looks promising. Oh, we have to follow Shepard, who is trailing behind us? Okay. I like that you're facing floor-based hazards, but due to the nature of the, the pain reticle, I guess you could call it, mm -hmm. um, it always looks like the, uh, the damage is coming from behind you. Yeah. It's the hurt circle. Objective, meet up with Whiskey Company. Are these giant insects? Uh, yeah, they're bloat flies or whatever. Oh, I see. No, they're the swarm. Oh, no! <laughs> the rachni. They don't take a lot of bullets to go down, but the game just throws them at you in droves, so they are kind of a pain in the ass. And you can't knife them? No, you cannot knife them. You can't knife insects for some reason. Uh, it's illegal. Oh, okay. Grab that turret. 
Suddenly I'm getting GoldenEye flashbacks. Like original GoldenEye or like Wii U GoldenEye? Wii U GoldenEye, specifically. Okay. I think because of this guard this guard tower next to the underground facility. Maybe okay. I'm just imagining things. No, I, I see it, except that I don't think GoldenEye had an active volcano. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> uh, if only, though. Yes. Uh, if only James Bond was in that situation with dinosaurs. Wasted potential. Volcanoes, lava, and secret agents... Thank you for not saying oh my at the end of that. Oh, no, no, no. No. I would have Fuck reached no. through the call and strangled you. No, I was I was making fun of what fucking soldier dude said. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, dinosaurs yeah. and this is things bad. that are not good. Yeah, this I don't I don't think a turret was the best thing for them to like even have here necessarily. <laughs> so you have to. We're have here to worry about until we have killed enough of them that we can move on. So, but I'm thinking like the with this turret, I, I guess it overheats and you have to wait for it to cool down, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, but there's no like active heat meter or, or anything no. like that. You have to look. You have to look at how red the barrel is. Yep. Another modern shooter innovation, I guess. The heat gauge. Assuming that no game had done that before. This yes. Dynamic Turok physics. Actually, no, I'm, I remember playing Jack 2, and that had that, so what the hell? Turok, this way. Let's try around back. Touchstone Interactive, why did you not learn the lessons of Jack 2? Why didn't you Such follow your touchstones? Yes. Follow your two rocks. <laughs> what if t- no, what if what if at the beginning the touchstone logo like the letters drop so that it's just T U and then stone shifts to rock? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs>